the trip came around when my brother called me to ask if I wanted to go back and for a holiday. I thought, why not? It would be a good chance to see my family after 11 years. As soon as we got off the plane, I felt like I was home. Even though it was my first time being there, but it felt like I knew the surroundings already. After shopping for my relatives, we made our way to the village. When we reached home, the villagers came to greet us. A lot more than I expected turned up. It was really nice to see them after so long. The next day I went to visit our relative and my family, but I wasn't pleased to see them because of the state they were living in. It was really shocking for me to see them in that situation. Everywhere I went, all I could see was people struggling, trying to earn a living. I wanted to help the community. That's when my brother suggested that I should organise an Islamic event. I went around to speak to the villagers to find out their stories because I knew everyone had a different story to tell. Kunza got an Oh, Kishan was taking. Hold on, Tarbino. Oh, that's one of the Tarbino. That's one of the Tarbino. I <laughs> 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 Seeing the road workers struggle made me realise how blessed I was to be living in the UK. On my visits I met Abdul Qayyim. He's one of the hardest working men in our village. Kubelaspose. <laughs> Bausheti <laughs> Despite Kaim's circumstances, he still has to provide for 16 people. Bangladesh 
Tahan mo na horas ka. Alkin Rator. Diyosa. Kailangan ba ang tumahan siya rito diya? Masya ka di level na iya, eh? Kaya ba, dito ko sa ilang mga horas ka. So, laza. It annoyed me knowing that people like Cam aren't getting enough support from the government. After what you need to get basic costo, but you need to share a body on your calorie. I need to share on your calorie. It's hard for a chico in a way. Hard na ko le de ka jang wash shong sha sa nila. When I saw his children supporting him all along, I could see how strong the bond between them was. However, it was heartbreaking knowing that they had to do this every day when they are so young and they should be enjoying their childhood. ফটো <laughs> <laughs> I was really shocked to see him in that situation. I thought I must do something for him. The fact that he works three jobs a day made me realise how hard life could be in Bangladesh. When I spoke to him, he mentioned that he wanted to open a store at the yearly event, but he didn't really have the budget to do so. So that's when I offered to give him some money to open the store. On the night of the festival, Kaim set up his stall and successfully managed to make 5,000 taka of the 2,000 taka that I gave him. Leaving Bangladesh was really hard because I truly felt I had made a connection with the people. Kaim especially is a big inspiration and it helps me to push myself to work harder. The Bangladesh experience has helped me to rediscover myself as I know who I am now and it's driving me to follow my dreams and succeed in life. <laughs>